Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Here I'm gonna show you guys another uh, solar generator that I built. This is a smaller version than the one I built uh, about two months ago. Um, this box, I got it from Lobes. It's another uh, toolbox or utility box actually. Um, let me show you guys inside. So <clears throat> I built two pack, uh, two packs of batteries, uh, 18650 batteries, uh, 50 amp hours each. Here's one on the side, and the one, the second battery is laying down on the bottom flat. Uh, so it's up uh, on, the, on the on the need. And then so on top of the bottom um, battery right there uh, is my uh, 1100 watt inverter that I took apart the front and the back, uh, which, you know, I, I place it on the, uh, this, uh, the face of the inverters right here. So I do that because it, it, it is really nice rather than buying a, another you know, like leaving the uh, inverter all together inside and then uh, just buying another, uh, you know, power adapter from for the, uh, just to put, pay, place it on the front. So I kind of like to rather, you know, destroy the inverter somehow, you know, and just, you know, uh, place the uh, face plate on the front and then the uh, uh, cooling fans are on the back um, and then has the DC ports up here. So if you wanna connect it to the, uh, like a small pop-up trailer, like the one I have, uh, or even to add a, an external battery. Um, so, um, let's see, so we have the inverter and then on top of that there is the uh, um, AC to DC charger. This is a 15 amp um, uh, charger that it is running into this uh, this uh, charging port and has the light indicator that it is red when it's charging and it turns green when it's fully charged. Also has the um, uh, solar um, charging port here that goes into my MPPT charge controller. This one here is a, I believe it's a 30 amp. Let me check that. And yes, it's a 30 amp. I have some Velcro here in the bottom so I can attach it and remove it if I need to. Um, there we go. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it um, sitting inside in the box. I have a uh, 50 amp breaker that turns on my inverter. And if I turn this off, it'll shut this thing off. First thing we have to turn it off and then shut off the power. And then I also have a wireless uh, charging device here. Um, I believe it's called ICQ or something like that with a USB uh, port. It's a USB-C and a, and a USB 3.0 port. Um, I have a fuse that is a, a five, um, five amp a fuse that goes up to this uh, two uh, charging devices up here, the USBs and my wireless charging device up here. And then I um, have a switch so I can turn on these two devices. So this is on. And here, if I want to charge a wireless, um, wirelessly a phone, I can just place it right on top. And it is charging. This turns uh, green. When it's charging and blue when it's uh when it's not charging anymore the device 
it sends it that it's on, on top, but it's not charging no more, so it turns uh, blue. Uh, and I believe, I believe this is it. Um, so this is a good box for fishing. When you go hunting, you need some lights, um, uh, you know, charging smaller devices, um, you know, it's a cool box, I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If I made any mistakes or if I should have done things differently. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.